I'm Roger Rodkey with Vets Botanicals, and we're here with Dr. Dan Kirby from Alamo Heights Pet Clinic in San Antonio. I wanted to thank you for being here to answer a few questions regarding CBD, Dr. Kirby. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. A couple questions we have for you today are for some of your peers and consumers in the market. I wanted to ask you how long you've been using CBD in your veterinarian practice. Probably about a year and a half, two years maybe. You know, I waited a long time to go to it. I didn't just jump into the CBD area. I waited to see what was out there, kind of the products that were out there, and then and then decided that after talking to some of my clients that were using certain ones just over the counter, I thought we'd we'd, we'd look deeper into it, you know, it, because it was a little bit of a leap. Um, the veterinary community doesn't, you know, they weren't accepting of anything that had to do with what would be termed marijuana and things like that. So, so you you had to really delve into it and find out really what CBD was and what marijuana was before you jumped into it. Correct. We and we pride ourselves in differentiating our products from the stigma of marijuana or having right trace THC in our products. Um, so, what kind of conditions do you currently use CBD products for in your practice? Well, you know, osteoarthritis is probably number one, but we use it for other things as well. If they have kidney inflammation. We know now, um, I don't know if it was Colorado or Cornell, um, or there was another um, article out about the, the effects on kidney inflammation as well and settling it down and helping things heal. We use it as well in, in cancer to alleviate pain. Um, there's just kind of a variety of things, anxiety as well, whether it's cognitive loss at an older age or anxiety because of thunderstorms or other types of anxiety where the dogs have been adopted and they're not, they're not ready to be um, settled down into a household and so they need a little something to help them, the CBD helps that too. Would you attribute those multitude of uh, physiological benefits coming from the activation of the CB1 and CB2 receptors in the yeah. dogs and oh, cats? Yes. Oh yeah, there's no doubt. Um, what type of results have you seen using CBD versus some other therapies? Well, the, the key is, is that we want to always use, in my practice, we use things that are, are as natural as can be. You know, you, everything is a drug. Everything is a drug, no matter what you use. But if I can alleviate pain with something like a CBD product versus a non-steroidal or something stronger, then, then I'm going to use that first and foremost. Uh, you know, we, we use it for... Uh, so many things it's it's like a variety of things and sometimes when you don't have anything else to go to you have cbd to go to especially before you go to something really strong that you know could hurt the kidneys or liver or anything like that so that would be a direct reflection of cbd versus prescription medications oh, yeah. pros and cons yeah. and the thing is is we know we see it work it's not it's not like you're uh, you, there is a cause and effect i mean it's you you start using it and i get the call that the owner is very happy that, that the dog has settled down or the cat has settled down. We use it in dogs and cats. And I uh, haven't used it in exotics or anything else, but I think they are working on that. And, and they are working on it for um, horses and stuff like that as well. Since you touch on that, I wanted to ask one of the questions that I didn't have prepared today, and I hope it doesn't throw you off a little bit, but the legality of using CBD uh, uh, in no, the it stigma of it. No, it doesn't throw me off. We, we had that issue. Uh, we've We've, I've talked about that many times to many veterinarians because there are, are friends of mine that, that were, you know, they were uncomfortable using or even promoting CBD because in certain areas, I think California and different places, they're not even saying that the veterinarian should say anything about it other than letting a technician talk to the owner about it, not, not the veterinarian. Well, CBD is sold all over. The, what's the 19, the, the new bill, the new farm bill has said that it's legal now to farm industrial hemp and, and to do all that. You know, hemp was, of course, used a long time ago for ropes and textiles and things yeah. like that. But, but it, it, it's about um, now we have, we have called the state board of Texas. We have called them and talked to them. So if you're in a different state, you should, you should call your state board and ask them, are they going to be um, – after you for selling something like that um, but th at this time they said no we're not following up on any of that if you're selling it and and really when you have something natural that's good that and especially y'all's blend have, happens to be a good one you have a certificate of analysis so you have things that we're looking for and if you read any article about CBD that's what they're looking for they you, you should have that then 
then you want to use those things. That's why you're in veterinary medicine in the first place, is to use the things you know are safe and will not hurt that animal, but could help that animal. So on that note, what differentiates Vets Botanicals, pharmacist-formulated human-grade products from some of the other CBD products that you may have been yeah. presented to before? Well, I, first of all, I tried different products, and then um, you all came along with not only the product, but you came along with all of the information that I was looking for that's been enumerated in numerous journals that, that we should look for before we would ever use a product. And it's out there. I mean, you have it. And, and, you know, the certificate of analysis is the big thing for us. I mean, looking for, you know, bacteria and different, just different things in the product and where it comes from. And it's organic and it's handled properly and all those things. So that's what, that's what we were looking for. And that's why we use that product. And so. So one of my last questions would be, how would you suggest other uh, veterinarians, your peers, introduce CBD into their practice? Capsules versus oils, uh, well, those types of things. The, the capsules and the oils and the and the new mix. I think there's one that's got a, a water-based mix to it as well, uh, and the treats as well. So you have all kinds of ways of giving it to animals. You know, cats, dogs, or whatever. But I, I um, think that when you start to introduce in your practice, you should talk to your clients long before you introduce it. Talk to them for a, a month or two or three. Talk to them about would you be interested in that if you had that choice and it was safe and effective and less likely to cause a problem. And I think uh, on our last, you know, final note, uh, with your experience in using our Vets Botanicals CBD products, have you seen any adverse reactions or have you seen any um, interactions with prescription medications that other veterinarians or consumers need to be aware of before implementing CBD? So I haven't seen any uh, adverse reactions. If I saw anything, it would be uh, one, one big dog was maybe a little sleepier and they noticed that the first time and they didn't notice it after that. And I do notice that people say, and lots of my clients will say, if I give it in the morning, it's better for my animal than if I give it in the evening or vice versa. So they may have three dogs in the family that are on it and one dog gets it in the morning and the other two get it in the evening. So that's, that's a possibility too. The, um, could it be a, um, you know, if, it, if you were taking phenobarbital or some other type of product like that, that's a, it, you know, it's handled by the 450 system, the cytochrome 450 system. So uh, it, it could it affect that? Not so much that it affect that, but those drugs could affect how it's absorbed as well. But I've never seen a problem with it. And we use it on dogs that have epilepsy as well. Now, they're still working on that. So the, it's still out there as to how much it helps them. We know it helps in people, but they don't know about animals yet. So Wonderful. Well, we appreciate the time. And, oh, you're uh, welcome. We look forward to continued you partnership. You. Thank All you, right. sir. Thank you. Your dog is special. They're part of the family. Now your pets can experience the advantages of CBD oil with Vets Botanicals. Help your pets combat inflammation, pain, anxiety, mobility issues, and even seizures. High quality CBD contains no THC, so you don't have to worry. Vets Botanicals are pet friendly, pharmacist formulated, and veterinarian recommended. Order online at vetsbotanicals.com or see a list of local retail locations. Now pets and owners can experience the advantages of CBD oil with Vets Botanicals.